our fans, and welcome to Governor State's Weekly Sports Hub Show. I'm your host, Lance Butler. This past Tuesday, Governor State University men's basketball team played a down-to-the-wire game against Bertabue University. Let's see how the game turned out for the Jaguars. A Tuesday night matchup, Governor State University faced off against Virtue University as the Jaguars are coming off a big win against St. Xavier University. They have a chance to keep their winning streak alive in tonight's game. Toy Oliver looks to lead the pack. Jalen Miller gets the ball in the post and makes a tough fadeaway jump shot. He will finish his night off with 16 points. Midway into the second half, Vertebue's Eric Engelston drives to his right and makes a tough right hand shot off the glass. He forces Coach Base to call a timeout. Jaguars look to press full court. Willie deflects the ball to wide open Jalen Miller for the double. Ending the first half with the score, Governor State 37, Vertebue University 40. First play in the second half. Jalen Miller gets double team and kicks it to a three point shot for Devin Elks and the basket is good. Number 23, Austin Poles brings the ball up. He passes the ball to his right side to Jake. Drake drafts baseline, frees up space and pulls us for the jump shot and the basket is good. He will finish his night off with 36 points. Willie drives to his left, then passes the ball to Jamari who takes one dribble and Bo guards his way in the lane for the tough made basket. That will put the Jaguars up by one point. Jaguars trailing by one point with 34 seconds left in the game. Torrey plays one-on-one -on -one defense and picks number two, Jerry's pocket, and pushes the break, makes a contested layup, and puts the Jaguar up by one point. Virtually calls a timeout. They trail by one point now. Out of bounds, Virtue Ball watches this play unfold. And number 25 gets wide open, and the basket is good. With this made free throw, he will put his team up by two points, and it's good. Last chance for the Jaguars. Torrey Oliver brings the ball up. He drives to his right. He brings it out, then drives to his left, then kicks the ball to Jalen Miller, who puts up the three, and it's good. Last chance for Vertigo University. Peter Drummer drives right. Gets into the lane. Follows up. No good. The Jaguars win. The Jaguars win. With the final score, Governor State University 79, Virtue University 78. Don't forget, Thursday, February 11th, the men's basketball team will host a home game against Moody Bible Institute at 5 p.m. Central Time in University Park, Illinois. Then come on out this Saturday, February 13th, as the men's basketball team travel on the road for a away game against Mount Mercy College in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. The time for the game will be 4 p.m. Central Time. Also on Tuesday, February 16th, the men's basketball team will play a home game against Indiana University Northwest at 7 p.m. Central Time. Not enough action for your eyes to see? Well, the women's basketball will host a home game on February 11th against Moody Bible Institute at 3 p.m. Central Time. In the same week, the women's team will travel to Cedar Rapids, Iowa on February 13th to face off against Mount Mercy College. Game time is 2 p.m. Central Time. The following week on February 16th, the Lady Jaguars will have a home game against Indiana University Northwest. These games are free for students, and the cost for non students is only $5. Place these dates on your calendar right now, as soon as you get done watching the show. Come on, just come support. Looks like my time's up. Thank you for watching Governor State University Sports Hub. Make sure you tune into our GSU Sports Media page on YouTube, and also our GSU Jaguar Facebook page. And tune into next week to see our new and improved Sports Hub set. Well, it's been a pleasure. Enjoy your Valentine's Day weekend. I'm your host, Lance Butler. Until next time, go Jaguar Nation.